we grew more with old stories of different kinds of folklore. We have such a big diversity of it, you know, of trolls and uh, hidden people, of dwarves and uh, magic, sorcery, and you just name it. My name is Sigurður Aftason, but please call me Siggi, because you can pronounce that, I think. Uh, we, we are here in Holmavik in uh, northwest Iceland, inside the Museum of Icelandic Sorcery and Witchcraft. Most of, of the time in Iceland, it has been a very harsh living, very harsh environment. And this just brings people together. The famous knicker pants. Well, I at what time? Oh yeah? And how long do you have to wear these pants for? The environment you live in, it has a big effect on you. You know, because we are part of the world. We are nothing else. You know, we are just like stones and uh, grass and stuff like that. We, we, we are nothing different than things. And the magic itself just takes part in your head. And that's where it happens. And I think that every human is making some magic every day without realizing it. You know, there's a word in Iceland called Gorn and uh, divided in every language in English is hope. Mm. And I think actually the word hope is the most magical, magical word you can find because everything is in, in it. If you don't have hope and if you don't believe in hope, your life will be miserable. So the magic is more or less about hope. And unfortunately these days there are so many people that don't have any hope at all. It's because it has been taken away from them. And we need to we need to help those people to get the hope again so they can continue. That's the uh, the only magic that really matters. Sometimes when I'm creating, I feel like I'm answering a question I didn't know I was asking. Unfolding parts of my mind that I'm still trying to figure out. Like having pieces of a puzzle pulled together before me. Nature can inspire you, it can challenge you, and it will change everything about you. This planet is divine. We reflect in its beauty and in the things that we create. Finding new ways to bring the essence of myself into the physical world. I'm not looking for fame or glory. Expressing myself is joy in itself. And if I can find ways to share that joy and understanding, even better. Myth, folklore, belief and connection coalesce into sounds, vision and movement. I assimilated the imagery and culture of Iceland into a performance that drew for me a passion that I didn't realise before. You can't help but be changed by such an experience. Watching the aurora dance like fire in the sky. Days so short they disappear in hours. Sound and textures of snow, wind and crashing waves. And the sometimes very lonely feeling of exploring those deep, silent parts of yourself. It's been magic. Iceland's always going to hold a place in my heart. This place is both inspiring and physically testing. Limitations and struggle lead to moments of pure wonder. And meeting those who live here puts a new perspective on being human. We are but only tiny fragments in this vastly unfathomable orchestration. The magic is real, and it's been here all along. And we are the ones that weave it from our dreams and into our reality.